Hey everyone, so it's time for my five week pregnancy vlog. I'm actually not five weeks yet. I'll be five weeks tomorrow um, on Monday. My weeks roll over on Monday, but it's a lot easier for me to get them done on Sundays. Since I don't work, Brayden's actually taking a nap right now. I'm in my room again. You can see my door right here. Um, it's, I guess it's the place with the best lighting right now. Um, but like I said, I'm not five weeks yet. I'll be five weeks tomorrow. I'm looking at my phone to get my app to show you. Um, if it'll even let me do it. See? Ooh. Four weeks, six days. I'm not quite five weeks. Um, so development this week, I'm going to read you what my app says. Um, just some little tip, little developmental things. Um, this is the picture that it gives me. That'll be the baby this week. It doesn't even look like a baby yet, but I guess it'll get there. Um, let's see. This week, it says um, the heart begins to divide into chambers and beat and pump blood this week, and then its neural tube is developing. Um, let's see. And it says that the neural tube is where the brain, spinal cord, nerves, and backbone come from. Um, so that's exciting that those things are forming this week. Um, also, I've seen this week, this one says that the baby is the side of a poppy seed or I'm sorry, a sesame seed. My other one says that the baby is the size of a pea. So somewhere in between there. Um, but anyways, that's the baby this week. I feel humongous and I'm, I know it's just all bloating, but I look so big. And with Brayden, I started showing at eight weeks and they say that you show, um, a month sooner with your second. So I just, I don't know, maybe I am showing, maybe it's just bloating. I'm not sure yet, but I feel huge and it's kind of weird. Um, so this week, I'm going to keep looking over here because I have my list of things to talk about. I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget them. Um, symptoms this week, they're pretty much the same as last week. Um, nothing's really changed except my nausea isn't as bad. Um, I don't really feel it th during the day anymore. It's just the time that I notice it the most is I'll wake up at night and I just, my stomach doesn't feel good. Like I feel like I ate way too much and then I just have like a sick feeling after. Um, so that's my biggest one. I'm so tired all the time so tired I'm hungry all the time like I'm eating so much like I'll eat dinner an hour later I'm hungry and I I didn't have any symptoms with Brayden so it's really 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 weird um, another thing is I pee all the time but I think that's just because I'm drinking so much water which is another weird thing because I hate water but I know I have to drink it water just grows to me I always have soda so I have to cut back on that and that's hard um, another exciting thing this week is I scheduled my first doctor's appointment so it's going to be January 22nd, and I'll be a little over eight weeks. Um, and I'm actually going to be seeing a midwife this time, not an OB. So I want to know, like, your opinions on that. Like, if you've seen a midwife and an OB, what's the difference? What was your experience? And, you know, how did that go? Because I've never seen a midwife before. But I've read, you know, that they're more relaxed. They take more of a natural approach, which I kind of like. Um, I want to talk to her about placenta encapsulation, delayed cord clamping, um, chest or skin to skin right away, um, and things like that. I know with Brayden I got an epidural and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get one this time, but I want to see how long I can go without it. Um, and I just think a midwife is my better choice for that, even though I do think I'm going to get an epidural, I just think that she would be better. Um, and so another thing, um, is this past weekend I went and bought maternity clothes um which is kind of nice but it's not because I should not be buying maternity clothes yet I'm only five weeks pregnant but like I said I feel huge at work I wear my work I have to wear um, dress pants and the buttons are like cutting into my stomach and it's painful so I actually tried to find some maternity work pants and I couldn't find any so I'm gonna have to figure something out I did buy one of those belly bands I should have brought it down here but I didn't um one of those belly bands that hold your pants up. I bought one of those. Um, so hopefully that works for me. Um, another thing this week, um, me and the baby's dad, Brandon, my boyfriend, we've been talking about baby names and boy names are so freaking difficult. Like we cannot come up with any boy name that we can agree on. And I don't know why it was the same way with Brayden. So I guess I kind of expected it. We have our girl name, um, if the baby's a girl, which we really want this baby to be a girl. If, it, if it's a boy, that's fine as long as the baby's healthy, but we really, really want a girl. Um, if the baby's a girl, her name will be Annalyn Marie, and it'll be A-N-N-A-L-Y-N-N-E. And my sister actually came up with that name because my sister who passed away, her middle name is Anne. And then my other sister who came up with the name, her, her middle name is Lynn. So put together, you have Annalyn. And then um, her middle name will be Marie because... 
what we did with Brayden is his middle name is Luis, and that is his dad's middle name, his grandpa's middle name, and his great-grandpa's middle name. So we try and keep the middle names in the family. So Marie is my mom who's passed away. That's her middle name. Um, Brandon's mom, Kelly, that's her middle name. And then Brandon's grandma, um, her middle name is also Marie. So if it's a girl, her name will be Annalyn Marie. If it's a boy, he's just not going to have a name because we can't come up with any. So if you want to post a comment of a name you like or a million names you like, please do so because we can't agree on anything. Um, so that's all I have for this week, really. Um, we had some exciting things happen. Today's Brayden's birthday. He's three. Can't believe it. it. has nothing to do with my pregnancy, but that's okay. He's three, and my baby's all grown up. And let's see. I'll show you a picture. I took a picture of him this morning. It'll be on my Instagram. But um, he had donuts this morning, and he was super excited. Let's see. That's my baby. Um, so he's three today. And then this is my five-week pregnancy picture. I took it today. See, I look huge. Humongous. But I'll show you my belly right now, actually. And I actually, I bought one of these little measures so I can measure my belly every week. So let's do that. I'm actually on my computer again. Um, I like it because I can see myself, so I don't have to guess. Like, I can see that you guys can see me. So if it does, if you guys don't like it, let me know, and I'll try it with my computer, but, or with my camera, but I like it right now. And see, I'm doing it in front of my door in my room. So anyways, here's my belly. It's huge. I feel like, and I don't know if it's bloating or if I'm just big because with Brayden, I was showing at eight weeks and let me show you what I look like at eight weeks with Brayden. Sorry. Let me see. I have it on my phone somewhere. Almost there. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, so this was me at eight weeks with Brayden. Eight weeks. So, and then this is me at five weeks with baby number two. This is the front. And side. I have maternity pants on. So oh, that's baby belly. Now we can measure it. Let's see. I think it's pretty big, but we'll see. So 39. We're at 39 week five. So that's pretty big, I think. Um to be five weeks pregnant, but I've, I've been looking it up and I've been seeing, you know, what other moms are at and they're all second time moms are all a lot, they're a lot bigger. Um, but I didn't expect to be this big. So like I said, I don't know if it's bloating or if I'm really this big, I don't know what's going on, but I feel huge. Um, so that's all I have for my five week update. And if you stay tuned next week, I will have my six week update. And if you subscribe, you'll be able to see that. So thank you guys. See you guys next week. Bye.